Disney princesses are a bunch of spoiled, whiny bitches. I have never been able to relate to Disney princesses. They're always so passive, waiting for everybody else to solve their problems for them. And it's for that reason I always root for the villain. So today I am celebrating the most badass Disney villain of all time. That's right, Maleficent. A most gratifying day. She is a strong, assertive woman of action. She inspired fear and awe in everyone around her. Stand back, you fool! Even Aurora's mother, the queen, had to be respectful. And you're not offended, Your Excellency? And think about it, Maleficent can turn into a fucking dragon. You cannot deny that that is badass. It's a disgrace the way Maleficent was villainized in the story of Sleeping Beauty. I mean, she had every right to be offended. The way everybody ostracized her? I mean, she was the only one in the entire kingdom who was not invited to Princess Aurora's christening. I really felt quite distressed at not receiving an invitation. You weren't wanted. Oh, oh dear, what an awkward situation. Well, in that event, I'd best be on my way. I mean, that's just fucking rude. Maleficent is a woman who always carried herself with poise and grace. And the way she spoke was so poetic. Oh, come now, Prince Philip. Why some melancholy? Behold, and in yonder topmost tower, see the gracious whim of fate. Why, tis the selfsame peasant maid who won the heart of our noble prince but yesterday. Nobody talks like that anymore. And for heaven's sake, have some pity on the poor woman. I mean, look it. Her eyes are yellow. That is usually a sign of some sort of serious liver condition. I think she deserves some serious kudos for remaining strong and assertive, even while she's battling a chronic illness like that. Maleficent was so powerful, nobody could have ever defeated her alone. You poor simple fools, thinking you could defeat me, me, the mistress of all evil. It took some weak-ass prince with the help of three meddling fairy godmothers to defeat her. Alright, so if I was princess for a day, what would I do? The important thing to remember is that I only get to be princess for one day. And then tomorrow morning, I go back to being a lowly peasant wench, selling her body on the streets and scrounging the marketplace for discarded fish heads and apple cores. So I want to make sure that my actions as princess had long-lasting benefits. My first point of business would be to completely liquidate all of the royal family's assets. Such a high concentration of wealth in the hands of the ruling elite is completely unjustified and absolutely needs to be corrected. With the money, I would create a massive public works program that would give jobs to the needy and jobless as long as they were qualified and as long as they had a good work ethic. No free letters here in my kingdom. Anyways, you guys, I hope you will join me in celebrating Maleficent, the most badass Disney villain of all time, truly more deserving of honor than any of those whiny, entitled bitches that call themselves princesses. Um, I will see you guys next week, assuming you don't unsubscribe to me after this. Um, take it easy. For the first time in 16 years, I shall sleep well.